my name is Corey Eckhart. I'm uh, one of the experimental test pilots uh, on the Sky Courier program. And I'm standing next to our third uh, test bird uh, that we are flying now. We have about uh, 250 hours on our fleet so far. Uh, we've been flying it for about six months and uh, the aircraft's doing really well. We're really excited about this aircraft. Uh, very excited about getting it into uh, the, the field uh, so you all can enjoy this airplane. But I want to kind of give you some unique features about this airplane. So when you come up to your Sky Carrier, what's really different about that is this super large cargo door. So this cargo door is designed to fit a roughly a seven by six foot LD3 container. Uh, three of them exactly. So it'll go into the fuselage, which we'll see here in a little bit. But what's nice about this door, it's very simple. It's all mechanical. One person can open it, one person can close it. As you can see here, four outside indicators that show that it's latched. And all you gotta do is come over here, pull it down and it comes right up. So as you can see, it raises right up. You can load your containers in really quick, slide one forward, slide the second, then the third, and then you're loaded and ready to get out of here. To close it, just grab the rope, pull down on it, shut the latch, and you're good to go. So on the passenger version, there'll be two seats, several rows down the right side of the airplane, and then you'll have the single seats coming down this side of the airplane. On the passenger version, again, you'll have two emergency exits on the right side of the airplane and a single exit on the left side of the airplane. And then in the back, you'll have plenty of room for baggage and uh, any cargo that you want to carry. Another unique feature about the Sky Courier is the large cockpit. Pretty much walk through the fuselage. There's one way to get in here. Slide yourself in and you got plenty of room between your pilot and co-pilot. Once you get in, we also have these side doors uh, you can use for ingress. But once you get in, you reach over here and turn the battery switch on. So the battery comes on. The Garmin uh, 1000 NXI lights up. You can see how fast it lights up. Pretty simple pre-flight. Just come over here, check your databases, hit enter, check your system status from your oil to your power on, to your no takeoff, to your emergency exits. Uh, once you get that, enter your weights. Once you get that done, sink your, sink your gas. And then when you're finished with that, you hit your flight plan, enter it using the Flightstream 510, Bluetooth to the airplane, or manually uh, like you're originally uh, trained with. What's unique about the G1000 NXI for the Sky Courier, it has everything that the Caravan uh, just came out with, but we've added an electronic checklist. You use your control wheel uh, to access. We don't have a checklist loaded right now, but if there was one there, it would load up and you can see it. You can also clear it with the same button. Go back to your system status, check your map out, and uh, use your checklist uh, off the MFD. One unique feature about the Sky Courier cockpit layout is we have our tilt panels, just like all our jet products. We have our throttle quadrant, very similar to our jet products. Uh, so it's very uh, designed around the uh, pilot and co-pilot. Uh, we spend a lot of time uh, in a mock-up uh, looking at the human factor aspect of, of this cockpit. So everything you see about this is very comfortable as you fly it. Some more uh, avionics in the uh, airplane uh, that's unique to Sky Courier that we've added is TAS A, TAS B, TCAS 1, TCAS 2. Uh, we also have the uh, GWX 80 radar, which has uh, the auto mode. So essentially, you just turn it on, point it forward, and it goes and finds the weather and paints the weather on your screen. It'll have full XM, Bluetooth capability, uh, just like the Caravan. Uh, we've also added some unique features that we have from our jet products. Another great feature about the Sky Courier is we have actual cockpit doors for the crew. So we've really put a lot of thought at how to in get in and get out of this door. So if you notice, we got two handholds here. We have a very nice strong ladder. So it's pretty simple to get in and out of this using your handholds, using the ladder and using the door itself. So pretty much grab the handholds, walk down. Very simple, nice and sturdy, very stable. Uh, it's been enjoyed uh, working with this system. What's also nice about uh, these cockpit doors, you raise your ladder, it has a system right here that holds the door open. 
you remember on the caravan, you have a chain that holds the door open. We got rid of the chain and created this uh, system right here. So essentially in very high winds, today it was over 40 knots in Wichita and we had these doors open and it holds it very well. It's not gonna do anything. It's very sturdy, very reliable. But what's unique about it, it doesn't take much to come over here and break it over center. And now I can shut my door. It's got a pre-catch to hold it open and I can lock it up. So as you look at the aircraft, we've tried really hard to keep it simple, easy to maintain and easy to repair. All the systems on here are pretty much known systems we've used in the past. And therefore we know a lot of history with these systems. We've been flying this for over 250 hours, just like I said earlier. We're super excited to get it in the field and we hope you enjoy the airplane. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Textron Aviation.